in a bit of an aground the allotment on the uh, day quality of the weekend. The wind blown uh, broad beans there. Uh, now I think we have a look at the onions and lettuces. Onions are okay, but the garlic seem to have died. Uh, a shame. Uh, never mind, we'll take a few weeds out and see what happens. You see the onions are okay. Uh, lettuces are coming on quite well in between. Uh, just put a few weeds out still. Uh, it seems to be okay. Uh, anyway, down here we've got some seeds. Uh, some have grown, uh, but other ones not so sure. Quick move around, look at the lettuces. Um, Yes, lettuce is in the brassica tunnel. Now I've got some, these are the things we inherited. Uh, different types of uh, planting here. Um, some are coming into flower. It's looking very good. And then uh, quietly look across and see, I can see some gooseberries. Really lucky. Uh, yes, lovely. I've got to look at the pea harp. They all seem to be doing quite well. Very nicely. Yeah, looking at the. Um, there was it called Globe Artichoke. It's planted that for a pint. And it's doing very well now. And then a general look. Uh, here you see it going up, raising up, looking across at the plotlands. There's so much going on, and everything's coming on really well. Well, here we are. It's Bank Holiday Monday at the end of May. And uh, your normal ginger garden has a bit laid up, got stung on the lip. So she's not doing any talking until she's not an appearing on the video. So what I thought I'd do was have a bit of a look round and uh, give you a bit of a catch up on uh, what's going on. So down here on the patio, uh, we got the winter bedding. Uh, it's struggling now as it's coming to the summer, but uh, the spring and summer bedding is coming in. So that's good. Got uh, the lilies coming through. And over here, We've got the hydrangeas been pruned for the winter and uh, new flower beds coming through which is great and then uh, the rose making its way up the arch so coming into flower uh, nice little buds on there and at the moment we're lacking aphids which is a great thing through to the uh, the summer bedding which she planted last week you see that's all coming on quite well now. now a bit more oyster shell needed on that, do that later. And then we've done the other side, so we've got the pathway working through. So we're looking down the garden, and we've got some grass to grow yet. Uh, no one needs mowing, but other than that it's starting to look good. Uh, a bit windy. So... Uh, Moving on to the patio now, uh, I've got the uh, nasturtiums planted out and again the uh, winter bedding is just struggling through and we'll change that soon. Up onto the bee border, the strawberries coming through at the front and then the lilies there doing really well now. Uh, although we need to keep the rhubarb down and make sure it doesn't take over the seeds. So we'll cut that off later and uh, stew that and eat it. So, with the seeds coming through now ready for the bees later in the year. And some black currants, and then framed with the holy bush. So, up in the top garden now, we're looking at the uh, raised bed bed. Uh, as you can see, it's done quite well since last time. The tomatoes are coming up well. We've had up some leaves off the lettuce long before we can have some radishes as well. So it's really good stuff, very well. Plenty of uh, manure and, and uh, moisture and food in the uh, bed there. Well, we moved on to the, uh, into the greenhouse now. This is a new greenhouse and uh, not quite sure what's going on here. We've got lots of different plants in here and they're, they're all mainly green, which is a good thing. And see, they've got lots of different shaped leaves, which I think means they're different. Anyway, there's some the ones coming up here, which is quite good. And we've got a few that haven't come up, which is a bit worrying, but there we are. I suppose that's the way it goes, you know, most of the time you plant them, and sometimes they don't come up. Going around here, we've got a few more different shapes, but I think they're summer bedding. And then in here, we've got some more tomatoes, and she's getting that ready in there. 
for uh, hanging baskets. But I think that needs a little bit more food, I think. It's looking a bit dry, so we'll have to sort that out. And down here, there's lots of stuff at the bottom there, just sort of doing quite well, I think. And then some tomatoes ready to go out uh, or put in grow bags. What do you think when this lot comes out of here? So anyway, we move on to the other greenhouse now and see what's happening. Right now we, we, we're in the other greenhouse. Uh, I recognise these, these are tomatoes. So they're coming on, they'll be ready to go out I think soon. Uh, we got some peppers, uh, orange and purple. Uh, these looking all right, which is good. And you see quite pleased about these up here. Dahlias, those cuttings and things from the tubers, so that's doing really well. And she's got some, some others somewhere. Uh, I think that's them down here. So that's quite good. Look, they're doing all right. There's more in there and all. It says peak courgette, but I don't think that's right. More tomatoes. Some leeks up here. I need a bit of water, I think. I need to move them. More leeks there, ready to go out. More summer bedding, look, lobelia and stuff. You can read that. More leeks. And then we got some in here. We need more again, need a bit of food, I think. Tomatoes, got tomatoes coming out of our ears. And some purple stuff there. So it's mostly green, but not always. And it's uh, trying to be purple, but doesn't know whether it's to be purple or green, I don't think. And that one seems to be dead. So, anyway, we've had a bit of a look round. Let's see what we've got going on the outside, hardening half. So we've got plenty of plants here hardening off, ready to go be planted out of the allotment and places. So it's all coming on quite well. Chicken's desperate for food, so they probably want some more. And then uh, it's all looking a bit green, which I think is pretty all right for this time of year. Anyway. Not the best today, it's a bit cold, chilly, a bit stormy, so we're not really the best bank holiday, but uh, nonetheless stuff's growing and that's good, isn't it?